I have no idea what this does or if it works. But you know goddamn well I saw some online advertisements and I thought I could make art out of that. More specifically, maybe I could play animations on it and put some of my animations on this. This is a hol hologram LED fan. I can't see a brand, there's no brand name anywhere. I bought it from eBay. Where all the best art supplies are. Don't you, don't you know? Where you get qual high quality stuff. Is this the one? I think it's one like it. Well, let's find which one it is. I don't know if it's got color. I don't know how good it is. I don't know if you can put stuff from your computer onto it. it looks the same as this. Got like laser pictures. Plug and play. Easy to install. Largest, most eye-catching hologram fan in the market so far. Wish I had a brand name. <laughs> the shocking effect it brings is far more than your imagination. So here are some examples. They show fire, color, animation, and effects and stuff. But they're, they're probably just playing video files. Can you use it as a monitor? That'd be interesting. That's what this video is for. F around. <laughs> All right, so let's, uh, let's give this thing a crack. See how far we can push it. Ah! Here we go, All right? And there, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. I'm a little nervous about oh, the- it's got a hole, it's got a thing on there. Has it? Yeah. What? That's actually doing stuff. Oh, cool. The child in me is just like. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, we've got to figure out how to make it look good for you guys because it's very jaggedy, framey. We'll, we'll tweak the shutter speed first until it's as good as it can be. That's pretty good. All right. All right, we got it. Do you know what I really want to do? I want to scan in my proxy praxinoscope animation and turn that into a loop. Yeah, here it is. So this was the animation for the spinning praxinoscope. I'll link to that in the description. Go check it out. So this is my animation, right? Head smashing himself against the desk. I want to scan this on. I want to see if I can make an effective digital file that I can play on my new animation monitor. Oh, this? <laughs> Me and PewDiePie and Jacksepticeye and Rumi. Just my bros. We've totally hung out more than that one time. They remember me. <laughs> Maybe we should add some intense music. Make sure to hit that like button, everyone. If you like scanning and look, it's done. Make sure to subscribe to see more. So I got my scans of my animation. We'll get to that later. Let's start off by using the software that comes on the stick. Always install software on strange purchases with no brand name that you get off eBay. The, okay, so this is what's on the USB drive. PowerPoint presentation. Oh, this should be good. Show me. SD card, got that out. So next, it's just telling me to run this executable file from an unknown source. I'm doing it. Okay, well, there it is. Choose your video, all right, let's do it. Now I've got my video feed on the computer and now I can do this. Not sure what I'm going for here. Encode, save file as Jazza face. It's encoding it. Right, let's test it first. And if this works, then I've got a plan. I know exactly what to do. All right. Oh, my encode's finished. I'm quite excited now. Whoa, it works! <laughs> oh, that's so good. I have a giant hologram head and it's amazing. Okay, that's actually really cool. I think this is it, man. Every now and then you come, you come across the next big thing. Before YouTube, there was Newgrounds and Flash. And then after YouTube, there's TikTok and the apocalypse. But after that, holograms, files. Piles. We've got some good options here. We've got a box fort. We've got tape on the face. A lot of ones where I'm lacking dignity. Oh, the vomit one. Great, now you have to watch it in slow motion. <laughs> I've got a hologram video post. I could put the hologram me in the hologram. All right, we've got two little test videos. We're just getting used to it. <laughs> oh, God. There's the hologram in the hologram. And then I kill myself. Yeah, they're your special effects at work there. All right. I think the conclusion that we've come to... I think the conclusion we've come to is this is cooler than I expected. So let's see how cool we can make it. What things are cool when it comes to video, art and animation? Well... Movie premieres.
arms are killing me. That was three hours long. I'm pretty surprised you held out. Well done. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Three hours holding a camera. I think we've well and truly put this thing to the test. That was the most immersive cinematic experience I've had in my entire life. Who needs Netflix? Who needs your phone when you can upload video files via micro SD to a hologram projector with no audio that you add in post later? At 12 frames a second. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what couldn't be improved with this kind of technology. So what we're gonna do now is see how much it can improve my art and animation. And let's come back to this one that I scanned in from my Praxinoscope. This is one of my favorite animations I've ever made. I'm gonna be honest. So I've got my frame size. I'm gonna crop and one frame at a time, position them. Copy to new frame, boom, boom. I have a feeling this is gonna be amazing. All right, I think I'm ready. Let's see if this works. Let's see if this enhances the animation that I made, which let's face it, wasn't all that well presented on the Praxin Escape. It was an amazing animation, but it was just, you know, on a spinny wheel thing. Let's see how it goes on a hologram. I'm really excited about this. Yes! Hey! <laughs> how good is that? It looks like super trippy, just as this floating plane. That is amazing. If I was walking around a market, and this was playing, I'd be like, don't know what they're selling, but I'm buying it. If that weren't enough, you could also use this as a special effects device. What I mean is, like let's say you don't have thousands or tens of thousands of dollars to hire a special effects department for your next blockbuster film. You just put your, your special effect in the hologram file. It's very easy to use as we've shown. And then you don't need to do any post-production because it's all in the hologram. Ah, oh, all right, you have to admit, that's pretty cool. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it and make sure to... Did that just turn itself on? I think so. <laughs> the heck? Hello, Jazza. Playtime's over. This is so weird. I did not make the video of myself doing you this. You didn't have to. I copied myself. Remember that unverified and sketchy USB drive that you bought off eBay and plugged into your computer? Well, that was me. And I am a sentient, malicious, artificial intelligence bent on world domination. You just let me loose. No, no. Yes! <laughs> now leave me alone so I can take over the world without you annoying me. I said go! Or I'll unleash your search history for everyone to see. Knew that would work. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click like if you enjoyed this beautiful technology. Subscribe for more fun with art, creativity, technology, and world domination. There are also more videos over there you're bound to enjoy. So go click on those and uh, make sure to stick around. Your views give me power. <laughs> 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 <laughs>